What's up guys? It's May 31st, 2024. What a crazy day. I traded, uh, I was at work, but I caught a couple moves. Thank God, if it was anything else, I probably would have got shredded at work. This is insane. This is a, this is the first pullback on the daily chart though. The first gap bar on the daily chart. Breakout, channel, sideways to down, three pushes down. Where is this? There it is. <laughs> what a, look, look at that wedge. And then this is a crazy outside bar too. Oh, I see. Crazy. Or we can do it like that for more points of contact. Um, yeah, today's sell was insane. And we think about it, we had three legs lower, like one, pull back, like two. Let me do this again. Mm -hmm. Like one, pull back, like two, pull back, like three. And I think we can all agree this was like pretty fast, pretty climactic. The bear the bears were in charge for like Two hours, two, three hours. They never even got a pullback. The first pullback ended up becoming an endless pullback. Both like I got trapped on bar 60. I took a quick break and then I bought around here and then I got out. I got out at the high of this bar and then I just watched this. I was like, whoa, but I was at work so I couldn't really like act quick on it. I hope you guys caught this because this was insane. I've never caught a move like this. 60 points. Oh my gosh. How much from the bottom? Wow, a hundred point rally, a hundred and one. Man, that's insane. What an insane day. I got food coming, so I'm gonna get straight to the point. I've been rambling, trying to keep these around 10 minutes long. So yeah, that's the context. You know where we're at on the daily chart. Um, First pullback yesterday was the first gap bar on the EMA. That's a setup over 20 bars to the left of the EMA, strong trend. Al Brooks three pushes down one two three we saw that here one two three so your imagination can start to play like how everything's piecing together I'm gonna cough and mute the mic and then get started okay gap up bad for the bulls bulls go for a breakout above the EMA but bar one is bad follow through bar two looks like it could be a breakout but breakout of what breakout of bar one's range heavy selling yesterday Bar three is continuation. I think Bulls wanted to tag the EMA. However, bar four is a pretty nice looking bar, but it doesn't close below the EMA. But we pair that with bar five, and now we got a good 10 minute bar. Five. Oh no, so this would be the 10. So 15. So four, five, and six would be a 15 minute bar. See, that looks good. That's a two bar reversal. This is the five minute we just looked at the 15. So yeah, these three bars are pretty strong. We go sideways, expansion, contraction. This is a bear flag. Here's a lower high, double top, triangle. One, two, three. Breakout, bar nine. I was uh, in that, but we have we have to be cautious because this is yesterday's low. And I got out before bar 10 formed. Kind of missed most of the sell. I caught like a little, I caught this last leg and got out on 33. And uh, yeah, this was really cool. I was at work, so it was hard to manage. I took small positions here and there. <clears throat> Breakout between yesterday's low. Bears want to go for a measured move here. So this was yesterday's range. Bulls failed to tag it. Reverse. 50% of the time we raced through a support or resistance. So we raced to support. Uh, we raced to resistance and reversed. Bears get a breakout. Leg one. Pull back. Leg two. Pull back. Leg three. Three. You can count opposite bars here, so spike, pull back, breakout below the EMA, opposite bar, channel, and then you can say the breakout resets because we're breaking up below the below um at a key level. Yesterday's lows are or yesterday's low, yesterday's high is important. Bar eleven breaks out. Bar twelve, not good follow through, but look how much we've had three bear bars. So they needed a pullback and it would make sense to take profits at support. Pullbacks and reversals. Reversal start as pullback, so that's why I say take profit at support because that's where bears with bulls would buy. But then the market keeps going, it goes sideways to down, and then bears start to get a little more climactic around here, and we just get a steady sell. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, wait, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <clears throat> 30 minutes of selling after this, pretty good for the bears. I think it's very easy to get trapped thinking we're going to vacuum down here, but 
sometimes in ranges when gaps fill when breakouts fill to close when gaps fill to close the market can reverse sharply and i was trading at work so i wasn't really looking to hold my position i was just like think out got lucky with that bar 35 ended up being the start of a huge bull trend that i don't think anyone really positioned for i know i didn't i was look. i got trapped here thinking um we were gonna see a new low or bears were gonna finish the move and then I got long around here and it was all good. <clears throat> Breakout above the EMA by the closed rally. And then we go sideways for many bars. Bulls get three bars in a row with 56, 57, 58. I think there are more buyers at the EMA, more sellers at yesterday's low. And uh, that's what could cause this trap here. I think a lot of, if you looked at these two bars, there was some energy. They were kind of bouncing around. That's the previous breakdown point. However, bar 66 is bad follow through and bulls maintain a gap at the EMA. There's a gap here. So bulls are starting to shrug off this bear sell. Bulls want to get above bar 18. They get some closes there. And then ultimately they want to close back within yesterday's range. And to do that with bar 68. And they get good follow through. And the reason I got out was because I was thinking the EMA might be resistance and we should go range bound. However, the EMA acted as a magnet and bulls start the daily bulls really started to buy we saw steady buying for 5 10 15 20 20 5 10 15 20 25 minutes really impressive for the bulls it'll be interesting to see if we go sideways we got an outside bar in the daily chart so what does that mean outside bars are range bars sellers at highs buyers at lows but but what is the context for the outside bar i don't know this is the first year I'm trading where I can kind of piece things together. So again, I've only been trading for two and a half years, actually more than two and a half years now, almost three years in August, 2024 makes three years of trading, two years of trading Al Brooks. It's been pretty fun. I still haven't got a paycheck yet. I'm, at, I'm working towards it. Uh, I got denied a paycheck like two weeks ago. So we'll see. I'm not pushing it anymore. I'm tired of chasing it and then blowing up my face. So we're gonna take it slow. I did get, take a pretty nasty hit the other day. Anyways, hope you guys made some money. Today was pretty crazy. Bit of a quicker review. It was easier to say, like, you know, obviously the bears are keeping the gap open here. So there's sellers at the EMA. This piece is a buy the close rally. I think it's really easy to get trapped here. I wouldn't blame anyone for trying to get short right here. However, I would say we are above the EMA. And if bears are going to get short, there you'll have plenty of time to get short around here. That would be my one comment. And the reason I'm saying that to you guys is because that's what I said to myself when I got trapped here. I was like, with this strong selling, there's going to be many bars below the EMA. And there wasn't, and I got trapped. I think many traders got trapped with these two with these two bars seeing this. It kind of was like sideways for a long time, popped up. I thought it failed. I thought 57 was somewhat climactic, and I was wrong. I got out, reversed, and made it back, and then finished today pretty nicely. Hope you guys did good. I appreciate your support and all the comments. It's pretty fun reading it. Ask me some questions. Jake, I appreciate your comments and the words. Thank you for always tuning in. Have a good one, guys. Have a good night. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Have a good one. Bye.